Good evening everyone. It is a beautiful day on the farm today and the reason it's beautiful is because it is pastured is pasture graduation day for broilers and uh, apologies if the lighting is a little dark in this video that's because we're going to talk about and show you something that we don't really uh, hear a lot about with raising broilers on pasture which is piling on and what that is is your first couple of nights when the broilers are out on pasture they may uh, all pile on top of each other to stay warm and you'll end up losing a couple to suffocation. So tonight we're going to talk about how to um, help uh, reduce that possibility by removing the 90 degree angles in your chicken tractor. It's uh, going to be about 35 degrees tonight. Right now it's about 50. It's about 20 minutes to sundown and let's go see what these broilers look like. Always good to say hello to the sheep too who also are doing pasture graduation day today. So what we have here is a modified Siskovich chicken tractor. It's large. Larger than a regular chicken tractor. Larger than a regular Siskovich. And we see there's piling starting to happen in these two corners. So the solution to this situation is to get yourself a couple of boards. And you got four corners in your tractor, so grab yourself four different boards. And not they don't need to be too tall, and they shouldn't be too wide. You basically are going to take those 90 degree corners and turn them into obtuse angles. That's angles more than 190, uh, or more than uh, 90 by putting them in the corners and that will reduce the amount of uh, piling that can happen in a sharp corner like that. Alright, so here we are at the tractor. This doesn't really take, uh, it's not really, you know, <clears throat> brain science or rocket surgery or anything like that. You take one of these right here and open up your tractor and I'll demonstrate in this corner right here and that is all that you need to do. Just lean it back a little bit so that if a chicken does press against it, they don't uh, make it fall forward and land on a bunch because that could cause a, an ensuing panic. But typically when you come in here, they're going to start dispersing as well as piling on even more. There's always the huckster that's sitting in the feed. Um, and basically you just gently move them out of the way with your your uh, piece of wood here like so just put it in there come on now yep oh, come on it's a massive chickenanity here I'm trying to do this with one hand so I can show you what's going on typically there's always one isn't there yeah come on there we go and then you put it just right in the corner like that. So just repeat in all four corners and that's all that it takes. Now it's not foolproof, it's not 100% that you're going to not lose a bird, but you will hopefully lose far fewer than you would if they had a sharp corner that they were all uh, pounding in. So uh, another thing that you can do besides this is just to come out and you know, uh, it's just gonna be a late night and an early morning for you come out and just see how they're doing every once in a while. If they're still piling on in certain areas, just move your hand over them and some of them will start to disperse. If you have to, take some that are on top of each other's and just slowly pick them up. And when you slowly put your hand down and pick them up, they usually won't freak out. So you're gonna stir the pot a little bit when you're in there moving around. So they're probably not all going to be in one spot or two spots like they normally are. You just want to stay for a little bit, maybe hide around the corner and just watch them for a little bit. If they continue to pile on too much, again, just gently go in, quietly move them and then probably wait till sun is completely down. Uh, if you have a flashlight or just a light on your phone or something to go and check them, you know, one more time. Usually once they're down, they won't move too much unless there's a predator or something that's scaring them around. It's not foolproof, but it, it will greatly uh, minimize the chances that you'll have uh, significant deaths from suffocation from piling on. So thanks for watching and enjoy growing broilers. Okay, so it's after dark. We're gonna do a little checkup on the uh, 
chickens to see how we're doing. All right, so we have one mass of chicken anity there and another bigger pile in the back. There they are. It might be hard to tell, but they are all huddled up, but not in a pile. There's uh, no, it's not too deep. It's all one deep, which is exactly what you hope for. And of course, there's the one who just has to sleep in the feeder. Hmm, a, couple of, a couple of loners out here. So I think that uh, is uh, it's definitely working. It's what we hope. I don't expect that we'll lose any this year or this evening. Uh, but we'll check again in the morning. And I hope this uh, helps you guys out if you have experienced this problem or if you're new to broilers and didn't know that this problem would happen. But it will. And hopefully this can help save a couple of your birds.